Hi, I am Mahesh, voluntarily retired from Indian Railways to create awareness in those areas which are unknown. Or even neglected or ignored or even unreported by the media in spite of highlighting it to them. Today's topic will be about increasing vehicle insurance premiums and is titled as follows. Drive safely, pay dearly for others' accidents. And which I could post it on the net thanks to yostri.com with some conversion hit from zamzar.com. Have you noticed your annual vehicle insurance premium increasing every year in spite of no accidents or claims from your side? Brace yourself to learn the truth. Instead of decreasing or remaining stagnant, I observed over the past six years that my bike's annual insurance premiums were increasing rapidly. Even if it were the rises in taxes, it was still quite high. I first thought it was the deregulation of the motor vehicle insurance rates except third-party cover by the regulatory authority, I, R, D, A, I, Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India. So, cursing the insurance companies for exploiting deregulation, I took some time out to go into the details. What was shocking was that while there was no increase at all in the insurance company's premiums, significant annual increase was found in the only I, R, D, A, I regulated premium third-party cover, as can be seen in the table. You can see that the figures are excluding tax and are in Indian rupees. It is learned that this annual revision by I, R, D, A, I is due to increase in these claims, including exaggerated, fake ones which have no limits and are according to earning capacity of the dead or the incapacitated, and also other parameters like inflation etc., resulting in losses to insurance companies. In plain words, these raises are to cover the insurance company's losses. Surprisingly, vehicle insurance is exempted for government vehicles. and. For accidents involving them, I wonder what sort of compensation and where from it is paid to the victims. In a train accident, the victim is paid a fixed amount, decided by the railways, though, recently, the option of accident insurance, disguised as a less scary and nice-sounding term as travel insurance, is introduced. Also, since third-party injury or fatality is insensitive to the class or value of Say, cars, small and big cars may all be paying a standard amount. IRDA should furnish these regulated rates on its website for transparency. Moreover, it is understood that all IRDA regulated insurance companies' third party premium collected is pooled into one escrow account called Indian Motor Third Party Pool. Is it to share losses? The news is that in spite of the increases, the insurance company's losses due to third-party claims will be offset only to some extent, meaning there is no end to the rise in premium or the losses which will keep ballooning. It vaguely and inadequately justifies the increases. All the same, it leaves a bad taste in the mouth. Why should we pay more for driving safely? Something should be done as the inflation, etc. will keep increasing. One small mercy can be the government not taxing this element of the premium. Or should we go back to the regime when there was no third-party insurance? Such issues should be highlighted and debated by the media, as it is a genuine, perennial problem. My efforts to highlight and write in newspapers were in vain. It is rumoured that IRDA may again revisit the third-party insurance rules and make insurance companies to pay a fixed amount and the balance amount of a successful high claim to be paid by the insurer. This is also not acceptable. Why should we insurers be beaten up for everything? Hey! TV channels, debate this and not just about silly, stupid, speculative things which are unnecessarily hyped. Do you have the guts to highlight and discuss such genuine issues which are affecting many, silently and unjustifiably? You have. Show it.